Now tonight I stand before you about to tell you what has been accomplished not by me but by the entity that we all are indebted to which is God which is creation but because of deceit it is very difficult for us to accept truth truth today in our life has been expressed in a thousand ways what is truth in China isn't truth here what is truth for the Alaska not so for the Bedouin in the desert of Arabia but there is a universal truth that's God but even God has so many different expressions I'm a Muslim I am a Christian I am a Buddha I am a Chinto I am a Punjab I am all of that and we all say it all filters to God which is good because if we were tied to that one entity we call God then love would come out of either one of them so therefore there would be no walls because we are tied to God if we all are tied to God there could be no war because God is love not war so again we begin to see that something is wrong because whatever religion we are we find a need and a compelling thing to offend the other in the name of the God that we defend so I knew that all of this was against me so what happened God placed something in me that I am ashamed to tell you what has been accomplished through the energy of God not through me because I don't need no credit from you I don't need no fame because I don't need that that doesn't make me happy you giving me credit doesn't make me happy what makes me happy is that which comes from inside of me you can't give me that no one could give me that but what I need from you is this what you need from me that is love that's all I need from you this message is not mine because the very substance that I use to heal did I make them did I make this no God made this so when you are healed and you give me the credit you just forgot it was God that healed you because he made the plans but with these plants that God made in 1980 1979 a woman came from Mexico that was insane for 11 years and she was killed my friend thought that I was lying mr. Frederick came and he was blind he was blind for 11 years he was seen in two days oh I was lying again when the young man came to me or oh, I was called from Washington DC because there was someone that was suffering with AIDS and he was killed and I was telling people in New York and in Washington DC you thought again that I was lying but since I was prepared for the world lies I was shown that if I talk to you and you believe that this is a lie well I am not the one that's living the lie it is you who disbelieve me that live that lie so every time that I saw that thing in your eyes that shows that you thought that I was lying don't you ever believe that I was uncomfortable yes I were comfortable because I know that you were living a lie and it was living that lie only because of disease and that disease bring that doubt in us we have no trust in one another anymore so when truth appears how are we gonna receive it what is it that we have inside of our being to receive that truth I don't know but I stand before you today at 65 feeling very healthy 
I'm feeling very good. I didn't go to school to learn A, B, C, or one, two, three. I didn't go to kindergarten. I didn't read any books on how to win friends and influence people just to stand before you and talk. Haven't you heard many say, well, I can't talk because I'm very nervous. But what could make you nervous to talk to your brothers and your sisters? I mean, you talk to your husband, you talk to your wife. Why can't you talk to a group? Something in us, that fear, that fear, that fear that comes with the food that we eat. That was the violation all the time, but we couldn't see it. We cannot see it even now. So, in 1985, I decided to put the ad in the New York Post, the Amsterdam News, and the Village Voice that AIDS has been cured. What did I do that for? I had all of the healers in New York jumping all over me. They too thought that I was lying. When I was invited to WLIB to, to talk, I started talking about the injury that carrot affords the body. Once we ingest that substance, carrots are starch, carrots are dangerous. Everybody jumped on me. Two years after the ad, ran, I was taken to jail. Now there it is. Remember what I said, that truth today is very difficult for us to identify or to support because the land in which we live is not supported by truth. So when truth comes, it is scary. It put fear in you. Even when someone tells you the truth, it is scary as you want it to be. I was arrested. When they was putting the handcuffs on me, I asked the detectives, why are you arresting me? Because you claim to cure AIDS and sickle cell anemia and diabetes and lupus, herpes and the rest. I said, sir, I ask you again. Why are you arresting me? I know what I said. I want to know why are you arresting me? And what was the answer? Because you said da, 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 da. I said, but I know that. Why are you arresting me? Because the Supreme Court of New York said that you've been practicing medicine without a license and that you are selling products not approved by the FDA and claiming to cure AIDS, which is a fraudulent claim. I say, how do you know that? Well, you will defend yourself in court. Now, look at that. I tell the truth. I had to get a lawyer. I had to go to court. I had to defend myself. And after I won, now what? 